So I ended up going to school for the first time in my life at age 14. Wow. So I went to the 9, 10, 11, and 12 years. So yeah, I have wow. four years of schooling in high school when they're teaching you algebra, <laughs> and I don't even know the timetables. <laughs> they're teaching you composition. I don't even know the alphabet. Okay. <laughs> they're teaching you, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of different crazy yeah. stuff, uh, history, and I said, what's that? No, so I honestly went to school, and I did got my, 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 uh, my high school diploma, but I did not learn anything. I, will, I came out of a school not knowing absolutely no English because I just didn't know the basics. So when I came out of school, what did I do? Go back to work in a factory. Mm -hmm. So I ended up you know, working, sewing garments. I got, went from there to a different job, and I started working you know, in a hospital. And I worked in a hospital before I came into Primerica. So honestly, to tell you the truth, Primerica has been my school where I learn English, where I learn math, where I learn to be a business owner, where I learn to find out who I was, to be able to go ahead and become a business owner, to think like a business, to be able to go ahead and feel confident about myself and to boost my, my self-esteem to the right. root because of Primerica. Mm -hmm. I started Primerica as a single mother. I didn't have the support of any husband or family members. I was the only one doing Primerica. My family was completely against me. They thought I was doing something illegal. They thought I was doing something that was not good for, my, for anybody. So they didn't understand it. But thanks to Primerica, my mom is financially independent today. She doesn't have to go to work. You know, and honestly, it's not because of me. me. I, all I did is just join Primerica and talk to my parents about it. My dad is the one that did what he needed to do as a very responsible husband. And then when he passed away, my mom received the proceeds so that she can make her be financially independent. Nice. But if I wouldn't have been in Primerica, that would never happen. Right. I was able to raise my three kids as a single mother, send them through college, finish university with zero debt. Mm -hmm. They don't have a $60,000 in debt. Nice. And she became a pathologist, mm -hmm. you know, with no, no debt whatsoever. Right now she's in San Francisco because it's her birthday this week. She goes, Mom, I want to tell you, I want to go to San Francisco. I go, go. When money is not an obstacle, you do things for your family, right? Right. right. And that's what Primerica has been able to do. So this person that never went through school are now making more money than a person, that, that, that more than a doctor. Mm -hmm. I work with a doctor, and when I left the, the, doc, the doctor, he goes, no, oh, don't go. That means that I'm going to have to go find another idiot to replace you? And I said, oh, my God, so that's what you've been thinking of me all this time? And I told the doctor, I will be making more than you in two years when it took you 15 years to actually just finish your career. Two years and a half later, I was making more money than the doctor himself. That's what I'm going to do. No education. Making $210,000 as my highest income in Primerica. And I'm just in the beginnings of making a million dollars by June of next, not, you know, next year, 2014. Uh, maximum to be making over at least $2 million. That's what Primerica can do for you, by the way. Yes. What is it you want? You put your price, you work for it, and your life is just whatever you want to decide to make it. Right. How do you make that? Okay, first of all, I want you to ask these questions. I ask myself this question. Am I satisfied with the job that I have today? Ask yourself that question tonight. Are you satisfied with the job? Who's working right now? Are you satisfied right now with your job? If you were satisfied, you want to be here, right? Right. Somebody put a price on you, and I'm sure that you know that you're worth a lot more than that, yeah. right? Now, let me ask you a question for you. Are you satisfied with the opportunities of advance, advancement in your company? There is none for most of us. We have, I was a supervisor for the hospital. I knew for a fact that in order for me to move on, somebody else had to quit or, or die. Mm -hmm. But there was not 100 positions there, uh, you know, for a higher position than supervision. Right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? In Primerica, we have an open field. Right. You come today, Camille, you can be an RVP in the next two months, and it's not going to affect my income because you're coming here. Right. You're not going to bump me out so you can come in. Right. That's when you know you have an opportunity, right. when you know the places are vacant to be filled. Right. And that's what Primerica has been able to do with this, with the money you make and save. How many of you guys are happy with the money you're making right now? Now, raise your hand if you are happy with the money you're saving today. You know how awesome it is when in one year you can save $30,000. How would your life be if you can save $30,000 in one year and still pay all your bills and still travel with your family? Beautiful. How would your life look like that? Beautiful. That's what this business has allowed me to do. Because I chose that every check that I get paid, 20% is going to go to my savings before I put it into my bank. Isn't that great? Yes. Now, you have the same opportunity. If you decide to join our business, you will have the same opportunity. What about with the staff?
standard of living. How many of you guys are happy with the house you live in today? The apartment you live in today? The condominium you live today? I said it like this. <laughs> How many of you guys are happy with any of those places? I mean, that community. And if you are, great. But isn't it better for us? I was speaking to uh, Eric today, and he goes, you know what I always thought? The success was for only for certain people. You know, success is for anybody that wants to go to get the success. Right. Success is something you have to chase. Yes. And you have to work and fight it until you make it. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's going to just land on your lap. We have heard how many people has win the lottery, how many years before they can become broke again. Because mm -hmm. they did not reach success. It just became a million dollar, you know, Balance, but not a million dollar person. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So become a million dollar person because when you become a million dollar person, it doesn't matter if they take it away from you, you're going to get it back because you are the million dollar person. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't have a million dollar balance only. And that's what we want you to go ahead and help you to become a standard, having a standard of living to where you make a choice of what your life is going to look like. Okay? What about with the last five years of your life? I know that I'm super excited because between 2010 and 2011, my income went, went up 60%. Mm -hmm. How much was your income went up? For some people, not even a 4%, right? And this company said to me, you want to make more money? This is what you have to do. I went and did it, and now we are in the journey to go ahead and actually triple our income by the end of this year. Nice. Triple it. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you want the money? What would you do with that money? And I want you to ask these questions to yourself. Don't answer me. Ask yourself, how much money would you need to make right now? How much money would you need or would you want to make? Let's go ahead and, okay, you mind if I mess in a, a little bit? <laughs> you just look like a winner to me today. Oh my God. <laughs> how much money would you need to make? Like a At least 3,000. What about you? Ten thousand. Two, like that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've seen this person picture before. Okay. <laughs> now, now answer the question again. Will those three thousand dollars will give you the quality of life that you want, or will no, you need more than three thousand? Way more. Exactly. You see, you only got to see this. This is what a job give us. How much money you want to make? How much money you need to make? And then we go to the minimum because us all we've been preconditioned to believe that we can make. Right. They have never expanded our vision to say there is more than what I just need to survive. There is money where I can have a quality of life. And that's what Primerica can do for us. You can actually make enough to where you have enough to pay your bills and still have a balance. I tell people, it's so awesome when you pay your bills and your balance still goes up. Mm -hmm. But I just said my rent. Oh, let me see my account. Ooh, went up 3000 Oh, I only pay 1500 on my house. Now it went up 3000 How many of you guys would think that would be a better quality of life? Yeah. I've been in Primerica. That's why people think I'm crazy. No, I'm just happy. <laughs> and if crazy makes you happy, I'm, I'm crazy. Right. But if happy makes you crazy, I'm anyway both. Okay, that's okay with me. Now think about this. Some, some things, something that you definitely have to give yourself a great amount of time to think about. And think about this, because this is serious stuff. How many of you guys are absolutely happy with the lifestyle that you have today? Okay, how many of you guys are content? <laughs> Only one person, two people are content. Now, if you could order from the menu of life, how will your life be different? Will you still be in the same place, Martin? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> so you see there is a, that's not even a no. There's a hell in between a no, okay? Now, will you be in the same place if you will have the ability to order from the menu of life? I don't think so. Exactly. That's the reason why you're here. Understand, Lakinia was a uh, teacher. She's a R RN or LDN? RN. An RN. What, what is your position? You are a pharmacist? A pharmacist. People with degrees that are here, why? Because you guys know that you deserve better. And you guys know that there is a better quality of life for you because you want to order for a different menu. Right. We don't want it to go. How many of you guys go to the restaurant and look at the menu and always look at the price before you look at the food? <laughs> Well, you know what? Tonight, you're going to go to those restaurants where you get the menu, it doesn't have a price. You're just going to look at what you wanted to eat. Right, right. And that's what we're going to share with you tonight. When the money is not an issue, you're going to be able to live the life that you want. Now, this is the thing, though. What? 
kind of a home would you be living today if money was not an issue? Where would you live today? Would it be in the same way you live today? No. Nope. Where would you send your kids to school? Same right. schooling? Right. Or if you send them to the school of their choice, if they are already going to the school of their choice, would you rather want them to be done with school and with no debt? Or you want them to continue with the debt that they have today? No debt. What about vacation? Where would you go? Ooh, all over. All over with your family. My kids been four times to Hawaii. Some people never been one time to Hawaii. My kids been in Hawaii four times and we haven't paid a penny for it. Mm -hmm. Companies pay for everyone. Yeah. My kids been four or five times to Disney World, to Orlando, Florida. Not to Disneyland in California. Right. To Orlando, Florida. Everything paid for. Yeah. Three times to this uh, to studio, uh, Web Universal Studios in yeah. Orlando, Florida. We to Boca Raton, yeah. Miami, Orlando, Mississippi. Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, you got, you're not kidding. That's a real life. You know that before pandemic, I never went anywhere. Now, what about charities? Who will you be giving money to? Who will you help? Just yourself or maybe your mother, maybe your father. I know that right now my whole family depends on me. My grandmother, which is diagnosed with cancer, and we just know that it's going to happen within days. My mother that financially she doesn't need, but she, she needs me to help her, to help my mother, my grandmother, and anything else that she needs. Without Primerica, I couldn't do that for them. Right. You cannot give what you don't have. Right. And it's sad to send to your kids and then end up, you're not having anything to take care of your, yourself right. and the loved ones right. at home, right? right? So you're gonna always have to do a choice. Do I give over that and stay with nothing? Or will I stay with it and don't give it out? Right. You always have choices, but you don't have to. Primerica can change that for you. Now, the, the life you are living is the life you ordered long ago. Whether you like it or not, is what you already order. When you go to the restaurant and you order the steak and you don't like it, hey, that's what you order. You have to pay for it, right? <laughs> you chose that from the menu. Now you have to pay it. Oh, but I wanted a filet mignon. I only uh, asked for a, what is the one that has the bone? T-bone. T-bone bon. steak. But I wanted a filet mignon. Well, sorry. You ordered a T-bone. T-bone. <laughs> Why? Because that's the only thing that I could afford. The other one was too expensive. I can either pay $12 or $27, $37. And then my checking account, it was only 12 so I had to go ahead and eat a tea. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We get exactly what we want. Truly, even you say, I don't like what I have. Hey, that's what you ordered. That's what you wanted. But I don't like it. Okay, then you already analyze it. Why you don't like it now? Because you've seen something different and better. That's the only reason why you don't like now what you have. I don't like the life that I came from, but thank God that I was able to come out of it because I had a choice, right? Most people aren't, aren't happy with the lifestyle they have, but they don't do nothing about it. I did. I said, I'm not going to tell my kids anymore, no, thank you, I cannot afford it. No, next paycheck. Oh, I cannot pay this. I have to go ahead and ask. No more. I wanted them to have freedom. How many of you guys want to be able to tell your kids, yes. Yes. Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. You work for it. You brought the, 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 you know, the good grades. Here's the money for you to go to college. I heard somebody in the other office, I think it was one of your recruits, that said, uh, hey, my daughter came to me and said, mom, I did everything in school. I have my good grades. I have the 3.9 or the 4 point something average. What is the money for me to go to college? And the mother goes, I'm sorry, I don't have any. What? You're telling me that I did everything and you didn't do your part? Hey, sorry, honey, the paycheck that I was getting was just enough to support you, feed you, and pay the rent. Not in Primerica. You have choices. You can decide today what your life is going to look in the future. Mm -hmm. Whatever is in the, back, in the back of, you know, whatever you already did, the past, enjoy it already. Learn from it, and if you don't like it, forget about it and look forward to the new life that you're going to start today, right? right? That's a lot more promising and better. Look at the homes that you can have. Maybe you live in one like that already right now. It says, man, that looks like my house. Some of you guys said, I wish I can have one. I live in an apartment. But you know what? Even if this is a house that you live in, and it's a house that is under your name, wouldn't it be better to have a house like this? Wouldn't you like to invite your friends to come to visit you here? How do you feel? 
happy. Oh, even a child knows that I would be happy for him. And he's a child. And we the adults say, no, you just don't understand. I'm so happy in my house. I don't invite my friends because I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm happy in my house. No, you're not. You just don't want to go to work to do something different, right? A child knows the difference. Don't you, Stephen? You know the difference, huh? This one or the other one? This one. Oh. <laughs> no, let's look at the backyard of your house today. I know that some of you guys will be very happy to have at least a backyard, right? A lot of people don't even have a backyard. They have actually the, the trailer or whatever you have so that the friend or the family member can live in there or the grandmother or the mother, right? I had one of these. And I actually have my kids doing this. And many times they came up with scratches on their stomach. Mm -hmm. They ripped their leg because they went over too far and went into the grass and it was all kinds of stuff in it that we haven't cleaned up. But maybe you actually graduate a little bit and now you have one of those inflated balloons that cost you a little more, but you know, at least one of those where the whole family can join. But what about something like this? Which one would you rather want to see? And this one, you can be proud of inviting your friends mm -hmm. to come and spend the summer with you. What about a boat for those that like to go to the river <laughs> or to the ocean? Or what about this one? Isn't it better to go ahead and have your friends yeah. going for a weekend or something like this? Yeah. What about y'all? Will you be liking this one or the first one? This one. Isn't it much better? You know, baby. You know how to choose good things in life. Now, camping. For some people, you guys like camping. I don't. I like the indoors, I like the five-star resorts. I mean, I got spoiled to where I can go ahead and call the maid and bring me the toothpaste and the extra tiles. Don't you? So much better, you know? The massage and the, you know, the whole thing. I mean, the small aroma, the nice uh, three-head shower. I mean, right up and the, that's what I'm talking about. But if you like camping, isn't it better to do camping in something like this? Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Where you have your private bathroom, your private shower, your private yeah. kitchen, your private bedroom. And then, honey, I forgot the wine. Don't worry, baby. Go get it. This is the part. Right here. Right and right. Oh, this one, this one for you right now. You see, we have choices in life. Yes, we do. But you see, the paycheck is the one that is going to dictate your quality of life. Right. And for some people with a check, paycheck, that we get on a job, this is not part of the quality of life. Right. This will be eliminated. There's just no option based upon the check, paycheck to what we really want to have in life, right? Right. What about your dream car? Mm. Yeah. For some of you guys, if you don't have one, you said, that's enough for me for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now, okay? But you know what? If you really go to work in a yeah. six months, this is what you can be driving. Right. Fuzzy? And if you don't like that one, Rick, this is what you can be driving, Rick. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Okay, and if you don't like that, Chris, uh, Eric, or Brian, this is what you can be driving yeah. your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. You should. You come and work with us for six months. Hey, let me tell you what I happened. My dream when I joined in this company, I was driving a bucket that you don't even know, okay? I don't think I think that, I mean, it was a blue Lumina. Okay, you guys know how the Luminas look, right? Yeah. Perfectly well. You can just picture it. And my dream was to drive a Jaguar. Well, I graduated. I joined the business when the first year I was able to buy a um, Camry. Beautiful, gorgeous, I mean black, it was just shiny, and then I crashed it in the, in the freeway. So I had to drive away. I said, okay, I need to buy. And then because, uh, the next year, I was at, two years later, I think it was, I was able to graduate. So I started driving a beautiful 300, uh, LS300 um, Lexus. Beautiful. I mean, I was driving in that thing, but since I joined, my dream was to drive a Jaguar. Is that how you say it? Yes. 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 Jaguar. That stuff. Okay. <laughs> that was my dream. Guess what? Three, four years ago, I was able to buy it. Mm -hmm. And I was able yeah. to buy it. Now, now, now. But if this is your dream, then go ahead and go for it. Your dreams can come true if you know that you are willing to put the work required. Right? Right. right. I'm going to hurry up because I'm running out of time. Okay. Now, this is the finest thing also that you want yes. to like. For us women, we love jewelry. Yes, I love jewelry. Look at my fingers. Yes. And if I have more, longer fingers, I put more rings. I put more and they look ugly because my fingers are too short. So, but if you want better jewelry, hey, look at this. Hey, guys, don't worry. I have one for you. Would you rather get the $25 watches or the $50,000 watch? This is a $50,000 watch. Isn't better to get one of this. Now, for what, yes. boys? 
I mean, we need to relax once in a while, right? Yes. yes. Well, guess what? There is room for us. We can go and have this massage for ourselves. And if that's not enough, hey, what about having a house like the one that I shared you before? Mm -hmm. And you have a dark room with all the aromas. You can think all the aromas that you like. Mm -hmm. Four people who go ahead and be treating you, one in each hand, one in each arm. And then if you want a couple more, one in the, in the shoulder. Can you imagine right now? That didn't look like a good picture right after me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about it already. <laughs> but can you imagine where it's like no spot is being left unattended, okay? Right. There's like the shoulders, the legs, the arms. This is an awesome life to live. Yes. You most of the time see the wealthy, the rich and famous that actually go through this, right? Guess what? You can be one of them. Yep. That's not just yep. for the movie star. That's for the business owner. Okay? And that is something that you can choose. How can you make that happen? Well, you can come and work with